Okay, I guess we can see you. Can you hear me nicely? Just nod because we can't hear you backstage. Okay, I'll take that smile as a yes. Um, we're going to bring. Everybody and welcome to family. welcome to Let's Talk Fan Zone. You are chilling with myself and Roz right up until the top of the hour. Um, as you guys can see, we have well, you guys can't see at the moment, but um, if you caught what's going to be moving and shaking about our show tonight, we've actually got two special people um, from Newlands East that we would like to bring on in a few. Um, they're just going to tell us their story, and we're just going to unpack. Um, what's actually moving and shaking and what is exciting um, happening in their lives at the moment. Good evening, Roz, and welcome to the Fan Zone. Good evening, guys. Well, <laughs> you know, Roz and the mics, guys, always drama. No, I've got to tell you guys. I don't know if you noticed when you came in, Tony had that look on her face. You know that look. We had a whole argument before the show about these mics. I was not, not busy with the mics. But anyway. I'm not. It, it, it takes, I, I get distracted. I can't do the mic. I want to talk freely. We're waiting for the, for the mic holders. We're waiting for. No, I don't even need a mic holder. Stands. I just want to talk and use my hands and just be real. I don't know why Tony's interested in this mic. There mics. we go, Mr. Mr. Wayne. Okay, guys, so our guests are back. You see? You see? 
<laughs> Sorry, guys, our guests are backstage. They actually look quite excited to see us. Um, and uh, we have been chatting to Mel's for about a, a few days now, and she says that the guys are excited. Um, so we are going to bring them on, and then we're just going to take, obviously, they. Well, that's Roz's segment. Um, can you tell us why they're here? Okay, can I greet people first? Okay. Okay, Go so <laughs> I'm just going to say hello to everybody that we do have in the stream. So good evening, Alicia. Good evening, Wayne. Um, hi, Terry. Terry Lee. Hi, TT. Um, hi, Maylene. Um, who else do we have in the stream? Hi, Desiree. Hi, Auntie Corrine. Hi, Bear. And hi, Shanice. Um, who else do we have? Okay. So that is it. Um, yes, I was giggling because Tony was. So we are going to bring on our two special people. Um, let's see. Guys, I'm going to bring you on the stream in a few. Hello, mom. Right, there we go. Hi, Antisual. Okay, good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening. Okay, you guys can hear us nicely? Yes, we can. Perfect. Um, this is Roz's segment, so I'm going to hand it over to you. But before I do, good evening, Roxanne, Ready? Before I do, we would just like to say thank you so much for coming on board, um, for chatting to us this evening. It is an absolute pleasure. And I don't think, like, we are so proud to, guys, to have you guys on the show, especially with why you guys are chosen to do what you're doing and obviously what we're going to unpack in the show. So welcome to the fan zone. Thank you. Right, Roz. Okay, so um, rumor has it that we have a very talented guy in our presence this evening. So without any further ado, I would like um, our guests to introduce themselves. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He's a little bit on the shy side. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay, so Tay, who are you sitting with? He's oh. actually at the gym. He didn't want to miss gym. Oh, okay. So, so <laughs> Tay at the gym. Who are you with in this interview? Our biggest supporter, yeah. Oh, your biggest supporter. Oh, so I take it that's your mum. That's your mum, and that is Melanie. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So, Tay, what I want to find out from you is, I've seen these flyers all around. I saw you in the Rising Sun. I've seen posts on Facebook, and just at a glance of the post there, it says that they're trying to help raise funds to get you to Turkey. Um, why you want to go to Turkey? Is there any particular reason why you want to go to Turkey? Okay, Roz, um, just on that, um, if the venue has now changed from Turkey, they're going to be in Sofi, Bulgaria now because of the COVID okay. in Turkey. So now they're moving to uh, Sofi, Bulgaria. That's where he will okay, be now. Okay, so... Okay, Say perfect. What? So what is the purpose of this trip? I'm going to represent South Africa in MMA. Oh, so you are representing your country. So you don't yeah. have your provincial colors, you have your national colors. Is that right? Yes. And how old are you, Tay? 15. You're 15 and you have your national colors. My word, that is <laughs> yes. something to My be own very, God. very proud of. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so mixed martial arts, what is this? Tell me what mixed martial arts is. It's like fighting. It's, it's an art. You see, it, it's fighting and jiu-jitsu. Jiu -jitsu. Jiu -jitsu. There's, there's a lot of variations of mixed martial arts. Okay, so what made you want to start fighting? It was, it was basically in the family, you see, like my father and uncle. So one day I just wanted to go to a gym and then 
after that day, I just loved it. I just started. I just had the uh, MMA bug, you see. I just like it. Oh, okay. And how old were you when you got this bug? Uh, 11. 11. So you've been fighting for four years now. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So tell me, what led you up to this moment? Um, did you have to fight different people? Um, I want to know on provincial level and then on obviously, a, well, you're going national. So on the provincial level, tell me what involve what be what does being an MMA fighter involve? It's, it's a lot of discipline and training. Like you have to train six months before your first fight. It takes time oh, and it's no like way. a journey. Okay, so I want you to just take us on your journey. So what is a normal day for you? How much hours do you spend training? And I want you to tell us about your first fight. That six months before your first fight. So, like, my, my routine for the day is I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I go for, like, a 5K. I come back. I go to school. I come back at 2 o'clock. After that day, I go to training at 5 o'clock. I come back at 8 o'clock. That's, like, my old routine for the day, and it just, it just stays the same. Okay, so tell me, where do you fit homework in? And my because eating, if you're coming back, I have to train. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. When I come back from school, I do homework. Okay, so eight o'clock, you start in your homework. When I come back from school, I do homework. <laughs> Oh, okay. When you come back from school, yes, that's absolutely perfect. That's the right answer. <laughs> okay. No, no. When so, I come back from school at two o'clock. Oh, okay. So at two o'clock, you do your homework and then you're off to training. Okay. So does this include a certain diet? Um, and tell me, what does the training consist of? Do you box? Do yes. you kickbox? Do you... Oh, wait, wait. Uh, do what do they do? It's called grappling. sparring. Yes, that's like when you, everything you learned over the period of six months, you put it into your sparring. Okay. To see what you have learned. Me. Okay, so, so like, are you fighting with other guys in your age group? Yes, but it's like my weight. What, it doesn't go really with age, it goes with weight. Oh, okay. So tell me what's your weight. I'm 44 kgs. <laughs> 44 kgs. Oh, my God. At 15. <laughs> okay. I was in your weight about a year ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but I, I wouldn't try fighting you, though. No, I won't. Okay. So, <laughs> how did this all happen that you are now going overseas to the FTZ in South Africa? Yes, I tried. I had to go for KZN trials to represent KZN at first. Mm -hmm. And then I had to go for essay trials. I had to go and fight in Joburg for like my South African colors. So now I'm going to represent South Africa. My okay, so tell me. I know that fighting against people in your own province because a lot of the people you know, right? So fighting against yes. people in your own province. But now what's the difference going to Johannesburg or going into provincial to fight. What sort of challenges do you have going into provincial? Because obviously, do you know who you're going to fight? So can you like no. watch them and kind of? Not really. On the amateur level, you, you can't really do all that. Yeah. You don't get to know who's it until the fight. Because I fight everybody okay, so... around the, the province. Okay, so what are the nerves like before a fight? Yo, it's like you have butterflies in your stomach for, for that whole day. You just, you just, but when you go in the cage, you, it has to change. Okay, you know butterflies are good though, eh? Because that's your adrenaline that is actually helping you to win. <laughs> Uh, but before the fight, it, it, it feels different. Okay, it's like, you, can you explain the feeling? Can you hear me?
Hello. 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 Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sorry, the signal is bad. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask you another question because I thought that was a tough question that I asked you first. Okay. So on the day of a fight, do you have a special diet? Do you have to eat certain things? Uh, before the fight, you have to diet. Like six months, a year. A, a diet is continuous. You can't stop it. Like, oh, have to, have so keep on it's a sure. lifestyle. Yes, it's, it's a lifestyle. Okay, great. Okay, so your first interprovincial fight, right? Yes. How did you feel? And can I also ask, was it a tough fight? Not really, but it, it, uh, the nerves are crazy. Because going up there and fighting in like someone else, like oh, someone from four, it is, it is crazy. But it wasn't really a tough fight. I shined hard for it. Okay, so one minute. So your injuries, have you ever been injured? No. Never in but there are there is a huge possibility to have like really serious in, injuries, right? So is that where the nerves come from? Because I would I would not get into a ring when someone can just like beat me up legally. <laughs> like legally beat me up and use all these techniques to do it. That takes a lot of courage. So when you get into that, that into that from. ring. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, so I when think, you get into I that ring, you actually... Can you hear oh, me? We can continue, continue. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, when you, when you get into that ring, you know that you have to take hits. Right. So, but you also know that you have to give hits. So, yes. I don't want to ask you what your strategy is because we, don't, we want you to win your next fight. So, we don't want to keep <laughs> that away. So, how do you prepare your mind mentally for that possible? Because um, you know someone's coming at you. Like, how do you mentally prepare yourself? You've told us how you physically prepare yourself. You eat, you gym. Um, how do you mentally prepare yourself? Like the sparring and the conditioning in the six months of training before that fight. In this sport, you like you have to have a strong mind. So you have to, your mind must be powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's absolutely. I actually love your answers. For a fifteen-year-old, you are so, how can I say, well-rounded in your sports. You seem like you've got your life planned out. You know what you need to do. And that ambition of yours is going to get you places and that motivation. I want to speak to your mom now because um, I want to ask your mom, how does she feel watching her son <laughs> get into a ring or a cage knowing that he is going in there and he could get injured. Okay, for me, it's, my nerves are always shot. So I'm the biggest supporter. Dad is the one that goes with him all over. I watch like this. So when I hear everyone screaming, I start screaming too. But <laughs> not for is, me. That is something that I can picture myself doing. <laughs> So, yep, I want one eye. Okay, but okay, so you are all, so that takes a lot of your time. How often are his fights? Well, he just, uh, as I say, every like six months they fight because it's a lot of training that's involved. He just came back from Joburg a month ago from his last one. So, from the SA uh, okay. champs, so the next one will be you now. End of July in Bulgaria. Okay, so if you, ma'am, you go with him to all his fights, so you obviously have to slot your time accordingly. It's dad that goes all the time. I'm okay. in the backgrounds, in the outskirts. As I told you, I watch with one eye. Okay. I, uh, I, I can't. Okay. 
Okay, well, well done, Mum. He seems very focused. It really seems like this is his passion. He, you can actually hear in his voice that he loves what he does. Um, so, would if there was a sport that you could choose for him to do, would it be MMA? No, soccer, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> soccer yeah the safe one of the safer options yeah but we don't always get yeah. what we want especially when it comes to the kids they have their minds of their own and they know exactly what they want and they go for it he's headstrong it's i'm not gonna lie this is his passion and i i'm not even gonna try and take it away from him this is what he wants so i'm just gonna support him as a mom and yeah and that's where he wants to be Okay, so Tace focused through that he's, I think he was a fighter for five years, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, how did that come about? How did he just come one day and say, this is what he wants to do? Or what sparked this interest? Is there someone else in the family that does this as well? Or where did this? I feel like um, you weren't listening to the acting. interview, Tony. Were you Yeah. Were you here? Did I miss it? You missed it. I think, can I tell? Can I, think I tell the tale? Clouded. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell the His father yes. is MMA and his uncle. I missed and it. Then he went to the gym and he got the bug. I'm so Tony. No, all I had was <laughs> the bug. No, Tony was still thinking of the <laughs> mic saga. <laughs> Yeah, I said I was traumatized. Okay, I lied. Right. I'm with you. Now we're together now. Are you, are, are you okay? Are you sure? Okay. Are you there? Yeah. yeah. Good evening. I'm here. <laughs> okay. <Hi. Tony. laughs> okay. So, guys, we've gotten through your journey and what you need to do. and But now we know that you need to get to this fight internationally. Um, so I want to know about your fundraising ideas and I want to know your events that you're having on the 10th. Can you tell me more? But can you also tell me what is your target and what basically the event is obviously to pay for? Just tell us the fundraising that you have in mind. Okay, uh, for now, we've just been doing raffles. And then um, the guy, a guy by the name of Charles Proudly Colored um, contacted me. Um, he's organized uh, uh, Dante's on the 10th of July. Um, he needs to raise 25K. Okay, so tell me, is that 25K for the whole trip? Or is, is that just for his flight and accommodation? His flight's accommodation. Yeah, the whole trip. Yeah, the whole trip. Okay, so you would like to obviously raise a little bit more than that because we want to send our kids with a little bit of spending, um, some pocket <laughs> money. Yes. Okay, so... So that's so the amount that you have actually put together is basically just for flight and accommodation. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we have actually sent these flyers in our personal groups and one of our friends actually came back to us and said that she is trying to to check it on Quicket and she cannot yes. find the event. Um are there any other ways to buy tickets or is it only via that Cricket that is on well, the flyer? I'll, I will go on to Cricket and just double check um, the, the link. But uh, it's 80 rand on Cricket, 100 rand at the door. Okay, great. So you can actually pay at the door. And is there no other sales? It's only via Cricket. Yes. Okay, so what so I would, I would like you to do after quickly. the show is maybe just send us the link and then we will post the link. Sure, not a problem. Okay, so as I know you are at the gym, so this you said this is your training time till 8 o'clock. So we've actually yes. taken, I think, 20, 24 minutes out of your training time. <laughs> A good okay, but so, good okay, so there's a comment that um, Jerenice, there's a question that Jerenice is asking. Can we buy tickets but not attend just to support? Um, yes. Um, the, uh, the Quicket link, you can buy tickets. 
even if you're not attending, as they've put it out, they've broadcasted it out well, Charles has uh, that on his little link said that um, even if you're not coming, you can purchase a ticket just in support of tape. Okay, great. Can I ask you, um, we've gone through so much. Why didn't we ask you this before? What date is Tay leaving? On the 28th of July. Yeah. 28th of July. So you have, um, the event is the 10th. So it will be like two weeks after the event that he'll be leaving. Yes. Okay. So what I want to know is we, there's, we have some people in the comments that we can obviously, but we have put one up, a comment up so you can see. Can you see that comment or can I read it out to you? Please let Yes, I can see it. Okay. So what we are going to do is maybe after the show, we'll get in contact with you and all the people in the comments that have actually had questions, we'll just forward them to you. Is that okay? It's okay. Yes. Oh, okay. We've got another question. Is Tay going on his own? Um, we would like for his dad to go, so we're working on that on our own. It's, we don't want it to be anything a part of tape. So okay. this is actually about tape. So, yeah, we're working on that on our own. Okay, that is perfect. So you... Well, it's COVID, so you guys need all the help yeah. that you can get. So what we're going to do is yeah. we're going to try and forward this um, this interview on our stream, guys. If you're on the stream, can you please like and share um, so that we can raise the 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 required amount for Tay to actually go through and represent South Africa? Well, we are going to do our um, utmost best. Um just a little something to uplift the people in our community. Um, before we say goodbye to you guys, we are based in the gym environment, and surely there should be uh, maybe a, uh, a punching bag Some or something. Some sporting going on. You know? Guys, I know it's sporting. Can we have Zabalaza, just one movement there for us, please, Tay. Show us what's moving and shaking. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> in your comfort zone. Thank you so much, guy. From the there is so much power in those legs. <laughs> oh, yeah, like personal bodyguard. If anybody interferes with me, I'm coming to call you, Tay. <laughs> Just please. <laughs> Send us your address. No problem. <laughs> Anyone interferes with me, I'm coming straight to your house. <laughs> okay, listen, Mouse, before you guys leave the gym, if you can please just get a like a 10 to 20 second clip of that. Um, you can also post it on our page as well as your links. We would love to see that. Um, it was a little bit blurry on our side, but you can see okay. the stream is going crazy. Yeah? <laughs> no, he, he was punching the bear, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, listen, from us, we would just like to say thank you so much for giving us um, some time out of your gym, out of your training session. This is not going to be the last from us. We are going to keep you updated. We want to know what's moving and shaking. We want to know where we are in terms of how much we've reached, how much we've raised. We are going to boost the stream and do our utmost to get those funds through to you as well as pump the Dante's venue from our side. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Roseanne. His yes. Dad, his dad said he didn't want to be part of the interview because you were going to blast him. Why was it going to blast him? He said that you were going to tell him what happened. Dad, please come and step forward into the stream, Wait, please. I didn't hear what Melanie said. Why was I going to blast him? He said he gave you hell in school. Did he? I don't know. That, that's fun. Uh, yeah. Moment, guys. You was that is so funny, Melanie. That is so funny because after a while, I said to yeah. Tony, hey, I know Melanie. I think we you were, in, she was in school, school with together. me. Yes. yes. And now you're telling me that your husband used to give me hell in high school. Oh, my gosh. Wait, guys. And while we're on this <laughs> family, just shooting people. I know the Trucians can send them. So what is the link here with them? 
Oh, money this and is every- a color thing. Eh? I feel like no, there's, there's literally I think like five fusions that I know. So are your interlinked to Bernie and this is Candace's brother. Uh, oh, this is this is no, Bernie and this small one. I only know Michael. Is it Michael? This is it is Michael, eh? No, uh, yes. It's Bernard. No, the, yes, the younger brother. The younger brother's name is. It's Bernard. How Tony? The whole family is on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The I mean, you like when you Michael. go to someone's house, is your mother so and so? Like, what is your surname? Do you know so and so? Tony, is this yeah. your age? Is this age showing? This is growing up with someone. <laughs> no, but see this. I know the tuition's from. Banker. I was friends with Candace, so I know uh, I only know Candace and I know Michael. Clear, in a story. But anyway, um, we are gonna say good night to you guys. I, I can't believe. Michael. Yes, there we go. See, see. Ta-da. Uh, you see, this is Thank a community you. project. We're yes. going to raise funds for our own. Okay. Anyway, we should start fundraising. Start some fundraising, driving the fans on. Okay, so we're gonna post all the links. Um, click a link especially, and then well, Wayne is in. JP, you're a little bit late, but we're going to explain how to say goodbye to our kids. Okay, Mel, thank you so much for chatting to us. Um, uh, we wish you all the best. We are going to keep you updated from our side. As you can see, we've got a few people in our stream that are really keen, really interested. They want to know what's going on. They want to jump on board. Um, that was our ultimate goal. If we can assist, say, uh, it will really be, it will really be fulfilling for us, no matter what it, it costs. Um, so yes, that is us. We're gonna say good night to you guys. Enjoy training. We're and letting then... get back to kicking so that much. bag. Yay. <laughs> and then obviously, when you've got some time, if you can just watch the rest of the show, fast. I will do. Thank you so much, Roger right. Tony. Okay. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Bye. All right, later. Oh my gosh! Did oh. you see? Did you see him kick that bag? Yep. Guys, okay, so listen, JP's just joined us. Hi, um, JP. Welcome to it, JP. I saw Uncle Marvin came into the stream as well. Good okay, evening, so guys, Uncle Marvin. This is what is moving and shaking. We've got a young gentleman that joined us on the stream. He is from Newlands, 15 years old, MMA. He's going to represent South Africa in was Turkey. Oh, I can't remember that. Okay, but anyway, we are here to try and do the utmost in raising what is required to get him there okay so we need you guys to come on board with us and assist us with that okay Hello, fam, so i is was when is in right there we go bidding okay jelanese you know i was just thinking that it today's schedule leaves no room for idleness where you could get up to tricks and mischief and stuff i think we need to encourage our children to get into sports like this just to help get it get them off the streets he is so focused it is such a pleasure to see a young man that is so focused and he's going national at that age I'm, representing I'm sa freaking believable uncle but, marvin th- are you okay like what? Why are you in hospital? My goodness, that is actually not very really nice to read. Okay, honestly. while we wait for Uncle Marvin to explain himself, <laughs> guys, this is a what? <laughs> the way you said it. No, well, no, because I don't want to lose my train of thought. And I was just thinking, this is exactly what we are talking about when we speak about showcase your talent. So on a Wednesday, we're going to try and alternate our m- more serious topics with something a little bit more light-hearted and showcase your talent showing such a talented young man at 15 going to represent at south africa so guys we are working within the community and if you have any type of talent that you want to showcase last week when we spoke about this we had owen in the stream Owen is a music teacher. Owen to send me a message. So Owen is a music teacher and he can play almost every instrument. Guys, we need people like this on the stream. So I would love to learn an instrument. So this is exactly what we're talking about when we say showcase your talent. If you have something, bring it on. Let's interview. Let's share your journey. 
exactly the same way as we are raising awareness for other things, let's raise the community up. You never know, someone else might see you and want to also try it out and it might also end up successful for them. So guys, let's motivate, support each other, especially through this pandemic time. Okay, absolutely, 100%. JP, just to, up, just to bring you up to speed, Guy, and as well as those that have most probably just joined us. Um, Jerry, I want to play the saxophone. I know I won't be able to blow. The keyboard <laughs> but is hard. Uh, my fingers aren't long enough for the keyboard. Excuse me, you don't say the keyboard is hard. You motivate Jerry, and she can do anything no, you I'm want. You for put her. your I'm mind to. Like, for you. For me, because <laughs> I've been there. Because we've, we've, we've all seen that baby finger. Unnecessary. And that is unnecessary. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to a song, and then we're gonna come back after this. Oh my word, look who's here. Good evening, Bianca. got this thought on hand um feelings i'm just gonna bring you up to speed because you've just joined us okay so we've just had a young guy um by the name of tay drushan he is from mosbaka that has been chosen to represent south africa internationally. internationally um and we are just trying to raise funds and do the most that we can um to assist with that good evening to the tuckers who have just joined us so with that being said, guys, tickets are 80 Rand. I'm going to challenge everybody in the stream. Okay, Wayne has done the most and set the challenge at 1,000, but um, he's putting down 1,000 and would like to know if there's anyone that can match that. Um, for the rest of us, I'm just going to challenge you guys. Tickets are 80 bucks on Quicket. So we're just going to get the link for you guys. We'll post it on the Fan Zone page. Good evening, M. Um, post it on the Fan Zone page. The minute we get it, can I challenge all of you guys to at least purchase one ticket? That is all I'm asking to so the 16 people that we've got here in the stream besides myself and Roz. Um, one ticket. Where was Maiden's birthday? Please, please let us know when was Maiden's birthday. Uncle I think Marvin, it was yesterday. you are always in our prayers. Okay, Uncle Mark, yes, we are thinking of you. <laughs> Happy belated birthday to Maylene and also DJ Kevin celebrate his birthday but today. today. So, um, Happy birthday, if you get kids. to watch the stream as well as maybe Lucelle, if they can just post on those warm wishes from us.
Okay, there we go. Uh, Cindy's in for four tickets. Um, who else we got here? Okay, so Maylene's birthday was Monday the 31st. Uh, JP's in for one. Um, I actually wanted to say, Roxanne, really, we haven't seen you on our stream in a long time. Good evening, Roxanne. Good evening to you, my friend. We have missed you terribly. Um, so, yes, guys, we are just trying to see who is in the bidding, who is in the run to purchase at least one ticket for this. Wait, I have to get my jacket off quickly. Just hold on. What's going on? Yeah, but why are you taking off your jacket? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. This is not planned. I don't know. What? What? Roseanne, what are you doing? Oh, gosh. It's trying to flash. I want to show Bianca. You don't see my chaps. Oh, I mean, like, really. Okay, Jerry's in for two tickets. Um, TT, I'm not sure. Okay, Haleen Young is in for two. Good evening, Haleen, and welcome to the fan zone. Okay, guys, I'm not sure. Tao, Robin, for the things. Naughty came through with 10 tickets. We are putting it, guys. Okay, 100%. Oh, my word, guys. That is... Uh, my hair is actually standing. Oh, I yeah. like like a mental, a quick mental count. It's like over 20 tickets already. 100%, guys. Rosanna. Um, okay, so that <laughs> is awesome. Naughty, you're going to drop me a message. I took my jacket off for you, please. All the others that have sent through, well, I've got JP. I don't know if you've got my number. Guy, you better... Get my number. Drop us a message. I can send you the link. It's a quicker link. Um, it's not working at the moment, but once that is up and running, we're just gonna send you guys a link. Thank Good you, Janine. Janine. Janine, do you remember Melanie? I think she was in the class. Where have you been? All so quiet, and now you're all alive. No, anyway. I just want to if Janine remembers. Janine, do you remember? Okay, cool. So, Haleen, um, you're gonna message. Message us inbox a fan zone or uh, oh my numbers not sure. Okay, we we'll, we'll get we'll get you. We will get you. Roxanne is is freezing in Durban too. Pass it, pass that book there, please. What are you pause doing? That. You like okay, guys, pushing me? Okay, TT is down for two tickets. 100%. Thank you, TT. We're gonna write all this down. Um, Roxanne, you're gonna talk while I get the names. Okay, so guys, I just want to know. I know everybody's tired of talking about um our father, they call the family meeting. But uh I don't know. Well like I expected uh, a little bit more from the family meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit sad. But on another note, I am kind of happy to see there's a lot of over sixties that I know that have gone for the vaccine. So things are finally moving, guys. And I hear that unlike all the other government departments, they are really, really efficient. I know there's long queues, but I've heard from someone that has gone for a vaccine that once it starts moving, it goes very, very quickly. Good evening, Emmeline, and thank you for joining us. We are currently bidding for tickets to help Tejushin go go represent South Africa. No, 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 Wayne. Yes, okay, well, PMB is another planet. Yeah, but Durban is not warm today. Durban was freezing yesterday, and it's freezing today. As you can see, I'm a deal Durbanite. The moment I get, get a little bit of cold, the scarves come out, the jackets come out, the boots come out. Guys, I don't like to be cold. If you... <laughs> if you know me, I hate to be cold. I am so bad that Bianca and them knew that they cannot ask me to go out in winter. I will gladly decline with my gown from my bed. I am not. I am a summer, summer person. I'm actually very surprised that the ground, the crown, listen to me, that the gown has not made an appearance on the fan zone. I am, guys, let me tell you something. You must see Rose before we go live. Like, literally, well, you can see the mask and the... Is your mask on? I took it off. Before we but she still has... Look there. I'm surprised. But she still has her work things all... Oh, like, I don't know. I really are. Guys, I literally come straight in from work into the fan zone. So I don't have time to take all these things off. And yes, like everybody knows, I love my gown. And the gown has made an appearance on the fan zone. You just don't see it visible. It's from my waist down. So what I usually do is... I take the top part off and I tuck it underneath the table so you don't actually see it. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna do a young register here, just so that I've taken on everybody's. It's blue, Bianca. We have got that's going to be purchasing tickets, right? We've got Wayne, we've got Titi, um, it's Robin May, it's Haleen Young, it's Cherry, it's JP, it's Bianca, and it's Cindy Dickens. Am I right, guys? Did I miss or leave anybody out? If I have, Roxanne is buying ten. Let's be on ten. Oh hey, Roxanne. See, we must do yeah on us. Jennies, do not dare me. If it wasn't for Tony, I would have probably been on with my gown last year. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's it's coming, it's coming, it's gonna make an it's gonna make an appearance. Okay, so guys, we've added Roxanne ready to the bid. Um, if there's anybody else, okay, Hayden Young. Well, welcome Hayden. Hayden just like guys, Hayden just walked on now. Good and evening, Hayden. He's buying a ticket. Look at that. Look at that. No greeting. Not, oh, he did greet. Sorry. Good evening. Okay, I've got you down, guys. Please, you need to. Like the fan, well, you guys most probably all on the fan zone. But tomorrow, the minute I get the link, I'm gonna post it on the fan zone. Please commit to your. Or else Tony's gonna call you out next week on the show. <laughs> Don't try me. Wayne, I'm still waiting for your payment. <laughs> you know, like those numbers you avoid, like. If you, some people actually get two calls, <laughs> so they don't have to answer those calls. Oh, gosh. Tony's going to be that person. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to play out with this song. Okay, because while, just before we say goodnight to you guys, um, is it almost over? We've got 10 minutes left of the, 10 minutes left of the show. Um, before we say goodnight to you guys, thank you so much for joining us on the Woman Crush Wednesday. And Good evening, Clinton. Basically coming through with your support. Thank you, um, guys. The, su- the support is really, really overwhelming. For Clinton Idol, who has just joined us, good evening to you and welcome to the Fan Zone. Um, as you can see in some of the comments, we are basically running a bid. We are trying to raise funds. We had a young gentleman and his mum on the show. Uh, Tay Trushan, he is 15 years old, stays in Newlands, and he has been chosen to represent South Africa internationally. Now, what we are doing is we are basically trying to raise funds um, to assist in his funding. Okay, so the tickets are 80 bucks um, or 100 at the door. It's going to be based at Dante's on the 10th of July. Most of the people in the stream have requested or have jotted down to say that they will be buying tickets or whatever the case will be. In fact, we've challenged the stream to buy at least one ticket. So we're going to echo the same sentiment with regards to you and hopefully you can also come on board and purchase a ticket. 80 bucks on crickets. I will post the link on the fan zone page the minute I get it. And guys, please note that Tony will be one, you know, those 087 numbers that you get. You know, Tony just the other day was saying to me, Roseanne, I keep getting these calls and it's a voice activated and like, what the hell? What is going on? I said, Tony, listen to it. There's an option nine to opt out. So just listen to the call and then place option nine to opt out. Have you got any calls Guys, after that? I don't even get all, all, I hear them saying is, hi, you have been chosen. And I cut the call. I got no time to listen for numbers and opt-outs and whatever the case may be. Okay, Mr. Wiz. Good evening, good Mr. Evening Wiz. To you, and good evening to Joanne while we've been in the stream. Joe and Wiz, we've got, guys, I know I'm sounding like a statue record here, yeah, but I have are. to repeat the story for the people that have just come through. Guys, we have got, we just had a young, talented guy from Newlands East, 15 years old, Tay Trushan, that has been chosen to represent South Africa internationally. He is raising funds and we are trying to assist with that dream. You know, whatever. So far, guys, we got over 3,000. So rent. basically, we have tackled the stream and we've asked him to at least purchase one ticket. It's 80 bucks. Good evening, Kim. Hi, Kim. It's 80 bucks um, if you purchase it. On cricket, or it's a hundred and at the door at Dante's. Joe, I'm asking you, Mr. Wears, I'm asking you, can you guys at least buy one ticket so that we can assist this guy in his fundraising? Like Clinton's in? No pressure, guys, but three people in the stream have already bought 10 tickets. No pressure. Um, okay, so while we wait for our three new guests, actually, guys, please explain True Caller to me because I've tried. I've tried to download True Caller, but I don't know what I'm doing because it doesn't work for me. 
Like, is there a specific one that you get, like, that actually helps, that actually does do the check? Tickets. But please tell me because, you know, I did an insurance quote with a few companies, guys. They phoned me they consistently. Them. Like, about like four times a day. No, it was Colleen, more than good four times to you, a Colleen. day. Good Colleen evening, Colleen. Been... It was something like 50 times a day. And then I was just, I would see the number on the phone and I was just answer the phone because I didn't want, I just wanted to get quotes to see what it would cost. And they phoned and phoned and phoned. Guys, I was traumatized. I actually was, every time the phone rang, I was, I was feeling like I wanted to die inside my body. And then I decided, what am I traumatized for? Let me just answer the phone. So I answered the phone and then I said to the guy, you know, I'm really sorry to waste your time, but I really can't take this insurance out now. I'm going to probably do it at the end of Feb. Well, the call stopped till the end of Feb. And then it started again. And also, while I'm on this topic, if any of you guys give my name for what's that thing? Platinum Life, I will unfriend you. Okay, so guys, while we are just bringing you guys up to speed, last week we had two special ladies in the house. We spoke by Lupus. If you have not watched, um, let's talk with the fans on last week, Wednesday, with regards to Lupus, please go and check that out. Next week, in fact, we've actually got a few shows lined up for, for the upcoming weeks. Um, we're just trying to, which one, we're just trying to source out which one we're going to put first and in what order and stuff like that. So we will let you guys know. Monday, Tuesday, we normally drop a link uh, or drop a post to say what exactly is going to be taking place on the fan zone. So please, guys, like the page, um, set reminders, do what you need to do. Sundays is still optional. I'm still waiting to see if my co-host will allow us to go live this Sunday. Alistair, good evening to you. Guys, I'm going to say this story one more time, but this is a very important guy. Ellie, welcome, my friend. Welcome to the fan zone. Um, we are trying to raise funds for Tay Trushan, a 15-year-old guy who has been chosen to represent South Africa internationally. He is looking for funding, guys. Um, they're having an event on the 10th of July. It's 80 bucks a ticket if you purchase online, and it's 100 bucks at the door. We have challenged the stream this evening to see if they would come on board and buy at least one ticket. We've got two or three people that have asked to purchase 10. We've got two or three people that have asked to purchase two to four, whatever the case may be. But basically, I can safely say that at least one, everybody in the stream is buying at least one ticket. Ellie, would you like to come on board and assist us in raising funds? Please let me know, guy. I know you're going to do the most. Okay, so Joanne, I just want you to know I did no such thing. I did not give you a number to Platinum Life. It was not me. Um, there we go. Roxanne, who go, Alistair. We've got 10. Um, and Alistair, please note the reason why we're talking about Platinum Life is because if you do not pay the money, Tony will be calling you and blowing up your phone. And I don't know if you'll be able to take it in installments, but I think you can make a payment arrangement with Tony. <laughs> yes, it must have been, mum. Janice, what gifts do they get? I've never listened. Yeah, they give nice gifts, but they arrest you, bro. In I've never box, listened that long to know about this gift. Well, excuse me, were you the one that gave my number? No, and gave no. Joe's number? Sybil because you know his, about the gift. Sybil, Sybil gets these gifts and wants to die every time. But they, they actually give nice things. Okay, guys. No, you're quite suspect. Okay. <laughs> quite suspect. <laughs> no, I'm worried. Okay. How did they give my number then? I didn't even know Platinum Life phone you, Roseanne. And how did you end it? How did you end it? Okay. There's one common denominator here. There and we it's go. you. JPC is and you know about the gift. gift. with the lock. Okay, JPC is giving my number, guys. I got beautiful knives, etc., etc. I don't have a policy with them. Okay, guys, now listen here. Um, we are in the middle of the year. Can you believe it? But, the year is gone. But more importantly, this is where we gear down and start planning our shave thon for cancer. Okay, wait, can I just read Wayne's, um comment, right? 
just no, I'm not, oh, okay. Just so you guys understand, to get essay colors in MMA is dedicating years of time to get there. So let's support his dedication. Thank you, Rain. And believe it or not, this guy has only been fighting for five years. Four years. Mr. Wears, Eleven. I will find you and I will kill you. Okay, so, Ellie, there's a quick link. What I'm actually going to do, we haven't got it as yet. I'm going to post it on the fan zone page. But more importantly, because I've got your number, I'm going to send it through to you and obviously inbox um, JP wanted a, a, a message as well. So, we just, at this point, needed your commitment. And thank you so much for coming through. I will send you all the details once we've got it. Guys, I just want to say I'm absolutely blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. We wanted to do something that is more community-based to uplift and help the community. And this for our first show, we've raised over what? Like over 4,000 already? Mm. Over 4,000, guys. There's 20 of you here. We raised over 4,000 to go towards a flight ticket and accommodation for Jay. And just so you guys... Tay. Trey. Tay, sorry. Trushan. What is up with Trushan. your name? So just so you guys know, this money that they are raising, that they're asking for public donations for, is only for his tickets and his accommodation. His father is going to accompany him, but they're doing that on their own. So just mean, think about that. That's like actually double that they, what they actually need, but they're actually only asking for half. Okay, so as I was saying, we are going down into... Thank you, Hel Hel Helga. Okay. Okay. So Melanie's in the stream. So Melanie, let's just bring you up to speed while we've got you right here, girlfriend. Um, first and foremost, we ran a bidding process, which was totally, it was not planned, but we challenged the stream to each person that we've got here on the stream to purchase at least one ticket for the cause. You will never, ever believe the amount of people um, and how much tickets they're going to be buying and what's moving and shaking so we've got a list of their names obviously we're just waiting for the quick link um to which i will then mm. send it through to <laughs> stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is why i don't like the mics guys. Uh, so then what, my response time is slow <laughs> what <laughs> what i will do is i will <laughs> i'll send you a list of names roseanne is laughing <laughs> This I'll is why I don't you, like the mic. I, I want to be list. quick on that. <laughs> but then let's put the mic on. I will send you a list of all the people and how much they or how many tickets they have committed. How much? How many tickets they I have committed to? <laughs> You're talking about me. <laughs> you Listen to you. <laughs> what? I missed that. What? What am I doing? You. You were so getting mad. Hey, no, okay, man. Hey, man. Hey. Okay, so guys, I think we have done the most. Thank you so much for always coming through. And we got two minutes left. For really, for just being there, guys. Um, you have no idea. I'll never forget when Helga messaged us and she said, guys, sent us the article. She said, please, guys, can you bring him on? Can you speak to him? Can you speak to his mom? I know you guys will, this, your stream will reach people and you guys will get the message across because they're raising funds. But never in our wildest streams did we think that we would come into a platform like this and we would have people in our stream saying, I want one ticket, I want four tickets, I want 10 tickets. You don't know this guy for a bar of blue soap, but here you are on a Wednesday evening supporting the cause. And for that, we will be eternally grateful to you guys. Thank you, guys. And remember, if you share our stream, we can hopefully get a lot more people to donate. Okay, so in the 10 seconds that I do have this evening, just a quick one. Um, like I said, we are in the middle of the year. And what that means for the fan zone is we start unpacking our cancer shave -thon. Now, for those of you who maybe weren't part of our stream or part of our lives last year, um, we kicked off a... Um, we kicked off a shave -a In fact, it closed off basically the month of cancer in which we were doing. So we had uh, cancer patients, survivors, we had warriors, and we had thrivers. For the month, the month of October. Throughout the month of October, came through and let's talk at the fans on, interviewed them, asked them, what's moving and shaking? Where are you on, on your journey? Um, and we cried 
every week in October, the month of my birthday, I was crying, bawling. Um, and what we did was in a space of two to not even, I think maybe two weeks, we all said, you know, this would just be epic if we end off the month with a shave on And so we actioned it. And on the 1st of November, it was the rainiest day in, in Durban ever. But we hosted a fa- uh, we hosted a shave on guys, and we raised um, twelve thousand. We raised over ten thousand. So I think we did the most this year. We want to do go big, um, go We pizza. want to um, beat last year's. Yeah. So basically, targets. we've got a target. Um, we actually would like to triple last year's targets, and I think um, with the wheels of the bus starting to turn now and more time to plan. I think we can nail it. So basically, we're going to unpack once we've got the integrity down where you will catch us on what week, at what salon, what venue, and what's moving and shaking. If there is anybody in the stream that would like to come on board, come and assist, come and sweep hair, come and just spray, come and just donate water, or, or just be around, please let us know, guys, because you are more than welcome to come on board and support us during this campaign. Okay, guys. Also, what I would like to say is we had um, a cancer warrior sharing their journey with us. If you are interested in sharing your journey with us on a Wednesday evening, please could you drop us a message. You can send us a message on Facebook or you can um, WhatsApp Tony. Her number would be on her number. Her details are on our Facebook page. Guys, next week we are focusing on depression. Two lovely ladies that are always in our stream have shared their story with us and we are going to share their story and their journey with you next week. Um, if there is any other topics that are close to your hearts that you would like us to um, talk about on the fan zone, drop us a message. Let us know. We will cover it. Um, we are here to create awareness. We are here to talk about things that people are not generally comfortable to talk about, but actually need to talk about it. So, guys, if you have anything that you would like us to raise awareness for, give us a call. We will gladly do it. Okay, so for myself and Roz and from the fan zone, we just would like to say thank you very much, guys, for tuning in this evening, for coming through not only with your comments and your um, with your love in the stream, but more importantly, coming through with your support. Uh, we will catch you guys. I'm not sure if it's going to be Sunday. I will let you guys know, but um, we can work a plan. Uh, I'm... I'm actually writing, guys. So my first paper is tomorrow. Please think of me. If there's anybody that would like to renew their driver's license, could you please contact me? I would need some company to go and sit outside the driver's <laughs> license department on Sunday, the 6th of June. Thank Good you. Luck Good luck to Roz. <laughs> okay, guys, we are out. Much love to you guys. And yeah, have an awesome week. Please stay tuned to the Fan Zone page. We We'll be posting a few things. There's like donut day happening on Friday, which I'm excited to post. But anyway, we will catch you guys on the weekend. They said you would make it so oh yes, Wayne, we got we got your self defense um topic booked on. I know what's bothering us, so can I also do self defense? Exactly what you want and need, so believe, and you can never give up. You can reach your goals. Just talk to your soul and say, I can. I Thank you.